Hey, this is Brian with worshiptutorials.com. We have recently done a, a series of, of Sunday vlogs where we talked about in-ear monitoring, and we've had a lot of questions from you guys about how can we do this on a budget? How can I set up in-ear monitoring on a budget? So this video is how to set up in-ear monitoring in your church for under $110 currently. A few things uh, to know before we get started. This is not wireless in-ear monitoring. Wireless in-ear monitoring is not necessary, and I think a lot of people assume that you have to go wireless, but you don't. When you do wireless, uh, it's expensive. It's probably gonna be a minimum of like $1,000 per in-ear monitor setup uh, per person basically to go wireless and that's just for the wireless unit nothing else so this is going to be wired which is fine i actually did wired in-ear monitoring uh, in church for years um, currently i use wireless most of the time but i've done wired in-ear monitoring for years you've just got a cable uh, running basically from your back you know i kind of hooked it around my belt loop uh, but it's not a big deal. You just have to remember to unplug it before you go off stage or you're gonna drag stuff with you. So the, uh, the basics of this are gonna be cables and a headphone amp. That's all you really need. Basically, this setup is going to assume a few things. I'm assuming most of you uh, already have a mixing board uh, in your church, especially if you're looking to set up inner monitoring. You can't really get a board and, and everything that you need for under $110. So the other thing that this is going to assume is that you already have headphones. And if you don't, um, you can buy some cheaper options for headphones. We've talked about headphones that we recommend before. I usually recommend spending about $100 on headphones, but that's not included in the cost of this setup. So if you click the link below, you can go to Worship Tutorials where I've linked to all of these products. I actually have them all uh, in, a, in my Amazon cart right now, and it totals $105 and some change. So pretty basic setup. Your mixer typically will have between two and four buses on it. So a lot of times, like if you have a 16 or a 24 channel mixer, uh, they'll have you know, 16, two or 24, four. That two and four means your bus sends. And what those are, are separate mixes, completely separate, and you can set them up however you want that is separate from the main mix, and you can run them to, uh, you know, if you have monitors on your stage that you listen, you can run that mix to those monitors. You can also run them to a headphone amp, and that's what we're gonna use today. So, the first thing you need is a cable to run from your board, from the bus send out or the bus out on your board, to a headphone amp. Another note about these things, this is all gear that I have personally used uh, in the past, so I can attest to the fact that it's gonna stand up to wear and it just works. So the, the cable that I have chosen is uh, from a company called Monoprice. They make budget cables and they work pretty well. I have had some Monoprice cables go bad on me, so that's one thing to think about. Uh, if you wanna spend a little bit more, you can buy higher quality cables. But this is a Monoprice cable that is stereo to stereo, stereo male to stereo male. And I've chosen a 50 foot cable. So the length of cable that you wanna use, this is gonna connect your headphone amp, which is typically gonna be on the stage uh, where you are to the board. So you might need more than 50 feet. You might need 100 feet, which is gonna up your cost. But a 50 foot uh, stereo quarter inch to stereo quarter inch cable is $26 on Amazon today. The next thing you need is the headphone amp. And I have chosen and we use uh, at the campuses where I lead worship currently, the Rolls PM55P. So this headphone amp has a, an interesting feature uh, that you can plug, like if you are a vocalist, you can plug your mic into it and then run the mic out of it to however you uh, run it to the board. And it gives you the ability to uh, adjust the level of just the mic that you're running into it or the line that you're running into it. Kind of a more me situation. Uh, we don't use it currently in that capacity, but all you really need to do is run that cable from your mixing board all to the uh, to the Rolls headphone amp, and then you have a headphone out of that headphone amp, and then you can listen to that mix. And that's really all there is to it. But one more piece of the puzzle to kind of get this thing started for you is a headphone extension cable. So you don't want to have that amp like within a few feet of you. So I have chosen a, uh, and this is a bit higher quality cable, uh, a Hosa 25 foot, uh, it's, it's a quarter inch stereo on one side and an eighth inch 
or 3.5 millimeter female that you would plug your headphones into. So what you would do is then run that 25 foot cable from the headphone amp uh, to you. And like I said, I would just hook it around my back belt loop and plug your headphones into it and that's all you need. What you can do then is mix the, uh, the bus mix on your board however you want and run it to you uh, via headphones. And so it's 105-ish dollars today on Amazon and that covers one headphone mix. So another thing that you might wanna do is have multiple headphone mixes. And if you wanna do that, there are a couple pieces of gear I recommend. And they're both, they're both headphone amps that cover multiple channels and they're both made by Behringer. And I know we've said in the past, don't use Behringer gear <laughs> in your church. Behringer is kind of notorious in the past for, for both copying other people's gear. They used to make mixers and they were just straight up copies of Mackie mixers they kind of reverse engineered them and copied them and made them out of cheap components uh, but they do have a couple pieces of gear that are really solid one that we use is their x32 uh, board the other one that i've used in the past is their multiple channel headphone amp and there's an eight channel version it's called the behringer powerplay pro 8 the HA8000. Uh, it's not an easy name to remember, but it's $149. So what this will get you is eight, basically eight of those headphone amps. Each of them have their own input. So if your board has like four head, four bus sends, that's four basically monitor mixes, you can run four of those separate channels into this eight channel headphone amp and you can have four different people on your stage can, can have a completely different mix. So you'd need to basically, however many people you wanna have in your mixes for, you can uh, have to buy all those cables. Another option you could do is run one in your mix to multiple people on your stage. So you would just need that one cable uh, running from the board to the headphone amp, and then you could run multiple headphone extension cables out uh, as long as the headphone amp supports multiple outputs. So that Behringer Pro 8 is an eight channel. Uh, they also make a Behringer HA4700, which is a four channel version of that, and it's $130. So if it were me, I would buy the eight channel. It's only $20 more, and you get twice as many channels. Um, but that can support eight different people on your stage and however many buses you have on your board That's how many different mixes you can have so your guitar player can have his own or her own mix Your vocalist can have their own mixes where maybe their vocal is turned way up in their head Now I've included one more item in my list. This will allow you to run multi-track So I know a lot of people have not only said how can we run headphone uh, monitoring on our in-ear monitoring on our stages, but how can we run multi-tracks? You need one of these, you need an iOS device, and that's not included in the price. But if you have an iOS device, you can download an app called Prime from Loop Community. And if you click right up here uh, or below, I will link to a video that I made uh, a while back showing how to run multi-tracks in Prime by Loop Community. You don't have to use Loop Community's multi-tracks or loops, you can run any multi-track you want, including those that are available here at Worship Tutorials. But all you need to do this is a cable that goes from the headphone out in your uh, iOS device. So if you're running an iPhone 7, it doesn't work because you don't have a headphone out. But it's a eighth inch or 3.5 millimeter stereo male to two uh, mono quarter inch male ends. And so the left side is gonna be your click track and your cue track, and the right side is gonna be your tracks. And you just run uh, each of those into open channels on your board, and whatever you know the left side goes into is your click track, and the right side would go into be your tracks. And then within the Prime app, you can mix uh, the multi-track to make it uh, sound like however you want. So that's it for uh, at least today, $105. And these prices are pretty set. This gear has been out there, um, so you know, around 100 to 120 bucks, you can have one in-ear mix, and if you add, you know, maybe another $100, you can get multiple in-ear mixes uh, for your band and run multi-tracks. You don't have to spend a lot of money to do it. And like I said, I have personally used this system, and I know that it works, and it works reliably. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know below or head over to Worship Tutorials to get uh, the links to all those specific individual products. See you next time. Bye.